Hi guys, welcome to this video in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can stop people pasting over validation lists. So on the example I've got on the screen at the minute, I've got a data validation list in cell A3, which basically allows people to select a code from this list that's highlighted in yellow there, which is great. Now, select a code, VLOOKUP changes that, and you get the price, etc., etc., as you would expect it to be. Now, normally, if I copy some text, so if I just put test in this box there, if I copy that and then paste it over there, there you see the paste button's greyed out. I can't actually paste anything over this code, so they can only select from this list. Now, if I get myself a new file, and just type um, a list. Let's just go for a simple one. I'll just go data validation. Let's make this a bit bigger. Data validation and create a list. I will type this list, any value, select that to list. So you can actually type a list. So I'll go one comma two comma three. Okay, that's my list. So I can select that list. And then if I type anything in there that's not in the list, it comes up with the default error message, which is that, which is great. The problem being is if I have a, say I've got a word there, if I copy that, if I copy that, and then paste it on there, just do Control V, it actually overwrites that list. That list has now disappeared, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. So on the first example, that did not happen. Now if I just um, undo that, so I've got my list again, and I've got my copied area. Just press escape to get rid of the marching ants. Just do a few colours here so we can see where the list is. So that's where the drop down list is. So now what I want to do is a very simple bit of Visual Basic, which is going to disable the paste feature. If I go back to home so you can see paste is disabled when you've not copied anything. But if I copy something that becomes active, you can see that. I'll just get rid of the marching ants. So to get into the Visual Basic window, it's just a case of Alt F11. I'm on, this is book two, sheet one. If I change this to worksheet, that automatically changes to selection change. And then I just need to type application and a full stop and then cut copy. You see it come up, cut, cut copy mode. So just double click on that or you can press tab equals false that's all I need to do now if I save that let's have a look what happens now I need to save it as not an XLS XLSX but this one XLSM macro enabled workbook I'll uh, change that to Steve so I can identify it a bit better Steve one so I've obviously got a load of them it's going in documents save now if i copy test like i did before copy now i want to paste it over there but you can see that the paste button is not active so i cannot overwrite this drop down list by copying and pasting on it now i've been asked many many times in different sessions how to do that and it's you can't actually do it in excel by itself you do need to do that little bit of visual basic but that's the code there if i just copy that out um, see if I can paste it on there see paste in any of the cells okay so I can put that in there it's just not copying and paste it into that cell there now that is a very simple bit of code it's just that that's all you have to do to stop people pasting over a data validation list so hopefully this video has been of use thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one